Hello everyone, my name is Amy and I'm a Web3 developer. Over the past year, I've been working on creating a bot that could generate income through automated crypto trading. Unfortunately, all of my early attempts failed, my smart contracts didn't deliver the expected results and ended up wasting both time and money. That's when I turned to artificial intelligence for help and everything changed. Thanks to ChatGPT technology, I've been able to simplify my crypto strategies with the main goal of generating passive income. But before we dive into the details, I want to remind you that the crypto space is full of scammers. Always take precautions to protect yourself and your funds. Never send money to unfamiliar wallets or interact with unknown exchanges. So now, without further ado, let's begin this journey. The bot is built on key concepts such as arbitrage, mempools, and sandwich transactions. It utilizes well-known decentralized platforms like Uniswap and other DEXs to operate effectively. Put simply, the bot relies on the sandwich transaction strategy, a type of front-running technique. It monitors the mempool, which is essentially a public waiting area for all unconfirmed blockchain transactions. By constantly scanning the mempool in real time, the bot identifies profitable trading opportunities before they're finalized on chain. When a large trade is detected, usually a swap on a DEX that could move the market price, the bot reacts by submitting two transactions. One that's placed just before the target transaction called the front run and one right after it called the back run. The front run transaction takes advantage of the existing price while the back run captures profit from the price shift caused by the original trade. To ensure priority and transaction ordering, the bot sets a higher gas fee, effectively incentivizing miners or validators to process its transaction ahead of others. This allows the bot to manipulate the trade sequence, creating a price difference that it can profit from. While the idea may sound complicated at first, it's actually easy to understand once you break it down. I've been using this bot for a few weeks now, and I want to emphasize no coding experience is required. Thanks to ChatGPT, the technical side has been made completely hassle-free. So let's dive into the details and get started. First, make sure you have the MetaMask extension installed in your browser. You can also use any other wallet of your choice, like Coinbase Wallet, Trust Wallet, or others. The process is exactly the same, the only difference is the wallet interface. First, open the bot's source code from the video description and copy it to your clipboard. Next, head over to the official Remix Ethereum website. You'll find all the necessary links in the description below. Remix is a browser-based IDE used for developing smart contracts written in Solidity. Important, make sure you're using the official URL, remix.ethereum.org. Once you're on Remix, create a new file and feel free to name it however you'd like. For example, let's name the file bot. Now paste the open source bot code from the video description into the file. Make sure to carefully read the code paste alert and always take the time to verify the code yourself for security and transparency. Scroll up to check out the quick user guide. It'll help you understand how everything works step by step. At this point, it's important to note for the bot to operate effectively, it requires a minimum deposit of 0.5 Ethereum. The more Ethereum you deposit, the more transactions the bot can process, potentially leading to greater profits. Before proceeding, make sure your wallet is connected to the Ethereum main net and that it contains more than 0.5 Ethereum. This is essential for the bot to function properly. Now head over to the Solidity Compiler tab in Remix. This section prepares your smart contract for deployment. Here's what to do. In the compiler version dropdown, select Solidity 0.8.4, which matches the version specified at the top of your contract. Pragma Solidity 0.8.4, enable optimization. This helps reduce gas costs by optimizing the compiled bytecode. 
Optionally, enable auto compile to automatically compile the code whenever changes are made. Once everything is set, click compile bot.soul or whatever name you gave your file. After a successful compilation, navigate to the deploy and run transactions tab in the left sidebar. Follow these steps. Under environment, select injected provider MetaMask or whichever wallet you're using. A MetaMask prompt will appear, approve the connection. Once linked, you'll see your wallet address displayed in Remix. Then click deploy to publish your contract to the blockchain. Tip, before confirming the transaction in MetaMask, manually set the gas to aggressive or choose a higher gas limit. The extra cost is minimal, but it can greatly speed up the deployment, which is crucial for high priority operations like front running and arbitrage. All right, now that we've deployed the bot, it's time to verify the deployment status. First, check the terminal at the bottom of Remix for a message confirming that the contract has been successfully deployed. Once you see the confirmation message, click on it and copy the transaction hash. Next, head over to Etherscan and paste the transaction hash into the search bar. This will allow you to verify that the deployment was successful. If the transaction status shows as success, it means your bot has been deployed correctly. Now, back in Remix, click on the deployed contract listed in the deployed contract section. This opens up the full interface of your bot contract. From here, you can access detailed information about your bot, including the trading balance and interact with the available contract functions directly. Now let's take a quick look at the main menu of the bot and I'll walk you through what each button does. First up, we have set trade balance Ethereum. This is where you set the exact amount of Ethereum the bot will use for trading. Then there's set trade balance percent. Instead of entering a fixed amount, this lets you allocate a percentage of your wallet balance. Super useful if you want the bot to manage things dynamically. Next, start native. This button starts the bot and kicks off its automated trading process. Stop does exactly what it sounds like. It halts the bot and stops all trading activity. When you're ready to cash out, hit withdraw. This sends any profits the bot has made directly to your wallet. And finally, there's the key button. This shows your personal API key, which connects you to the bot system. Important, never share this key with anyone. It's private and it gives full access to your bot. Okay, now I'm going to click on the key button and copy the personal API key provided. Next, I'll scroll up and paste it into the value field. After that, I'll specify the deposit size for the bot. For this example, I'll set it to one Ethereum. Now I'll go ahead and click start native to activate the bot. At this point, the bot begins to analyze the entire wallet to prepare for trading. Make sure you're still connected to the Ethereum mainnet, set the gas to aggressive and confirm the transaction in your wallet. Let's give it a moment. Perfect, transaction confirmed. Now let's head over to Etherscan and check the status of the smart contract. Refresh the page and as you can see, the bot has received exactly one Ethereum for trading. The remaining balance stays securely in my wallet. Now we'll give the bot some time to work. Let's check back in 12 and 24 hours to see how much profit it's been able to generate. I'll stop the recording here and come back after 12 hours to share the results. All right, it's been 12 hours. Let's take a look at the results. I'm refreshing the page now, and wow, I've earned 0.48 Ethereum passively. That's a pretty impressive outcome for just half a day of automated trading. I'm going to pause the screen recording again and check back in another 12 hours to see how much more the bot can generate. See you soon. All right, so we've waited another 12 hours, and now that we've hit the 24 hour mark, it's time to assess how the bot performed. Let's refresh the page, and here it is. I've earned nearly 1.2 Ethereum in total. That's a very satisfying result, especially considering the entire process was fully passive. Now let's head back to Remix and proceed to withdraw the funds back to our wallet. First, click on stop to deactivate the bot. 
Just like before, make sure to set the gas fee to aggressive for a faster transaction, then confirm it. Now we wait for it to show up in the terminal. Once it appears, go ahead and click on the withdraw button. Again, set the gas to aggressive, confirm the transaction, and waiting. And there we go. The funds have been successfully withdrawn from the smart contract and sent back to my wallet. Let's check the wallet. Nice, the money's there, everything worked perfectly. Now, just to wrap up, let's quickly verify the smart contract balance. And as expected, it's been cleared out after the withdrawal. At this point, the bot's Ethereum balance is zero, which means the withdrawal was successful. Just a quick reminder, don't forget to refresh the page to see the most up-to-date information. Attention, right now, my bot is completely free to use. I'm doing this to show how powerful it is and just how much money you can make with it. However, this free access is only available for a limited time. After one month, the free version will be disabled. Your API key will no longer be valid and you won't be able to deploy the bot contract anymore. The preliminary price for access after that will be $2,500 per week. So until then, everyone is welcome to try it out and start earning profit, no strings attached. All right, now this part is important, especially if you run into any errors after deploying the contract. Let me show you how to fix one of the most common issues. Sometimes a Remix fails to estimate the gas fee after deployment. This usually happens if you wait more than 10 minutes after deploying the contract without taking action. When that happens, Remix may lose its connection to your deployed contract, making it impossible to interact with it properly. Here's how to fix it. You'll need either to reconnect to your deployed contract or if necessary, deploy a new one. But in most cases, reconnecting works just fine. To avoid this issue in the future, try to go through all the deployment steps a bit faster. Now let's walk through how to reconnect. One, refresh the Remix page. This resets the workspace environment. Two, after the page reloads, click on your bot file. In my case, it's bot.soul. Three, head over to the Solidity Compiler tab. Four, make sure optimization is enabled just like before and then click Compile. Once compiled, go to the Deploy and Run Transactions tab. Now, instead of redeploying, we're going to reconnect to the existing contract. Five, in the Environment dropdown, select Injected Provider MetaMask. This connects Remix to your wallet and the Ethereum network. Six, then go to Etherscan. Find the address of your deployed smart contract and copy it. Seven, back in Remix, paste that address into the at address field just below the deploy button and click it. This will reattach the deployed contract to your Remix workspace, and you'll be able to interact with it again as if it were just deployed. Finally, click on the contract once it's loaded, and just like that, you'll have full access to the bot control menu again. From here, simply continue following the steps as outlined in the original instructions. This method will solve most common issues you may encounter. However, if it still doesn't work and you're experiencing gas fee related errors, try going through the steps a bit faster or feel free to reach out to me on Telegram. You'll find all the links in the description below. Don't hesitate to ask questions. I'm here to help and you're highly encouraged to engage. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I hope this video gave you some valuable insights and help you learn something new. If you're interested in more content around decentralized finance and Web3, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again for watching and goodbye for now.